Hi everyone, my name is Kevin and welcome to Exploration Theme Parks and today I'm at Six Flags Magic Mountain to check out the new ride site and ride a couple rides. So, let's get to it. So I just parked at Magic Mountain. I really only wanted to come to get my cardio in just to walk to the front gate. I always say it. Track. And then it is a big park, so you get a lot of walking in, but no, really. Uh, I wanted to see, take a look at where a new attraction's coming in. Stay tuned. I'm also not a fan of their new speedy parking thing. They have three lanes for the speedy parking and three lanes for general parking. And really, like, so. I'm okay with like fast passes for rides because I do that if I'm visiting a park like in another state or country for the first time I have one day want to make the most of the day so I'll pay a premium for that but the speedy parking thing that's just stretching it because if all six lanes were open for general parking it really take the same time for everyone and it'd be way quicker so yeah not a fan And just like that, we made it into the park. Good amount of people here today on St. Patrick's Day. So I think I wanna to try to squeeze in one to two rides today. I really only came to check out the, uh, the new ride site, which I'm gonna do at the end because I'm not gonna be here that long and I wanna get on a ride or two while I'm here. Oh, green supports for St. Patty's Day. Look at this. Yeah, they had some sort of like DJ event last night i believe it was last night where you could pay to come dance and i think they had a few rides open as well so that's pretty cool that they have these extra events going here at the park so nikki was here on saturday wonder woman was closed all day so i'm gonna head back towards there to see if it's open and i saw that superman was open and that's been a while since i've been on that because they've had samurai summit closed forever Last time I was here last week, Ninja was open, but Superman still wasn't open. So I want to see if they're going to open Superman this morning. And again, I'm not going to film the new ride site yet. Boom. So let's just say rest in peace, log jammer, rest in peace. All right, as you can see, I got some barriers here, but I'm going to come back. Right now, I want to focus on getting on a ride or two since I'm at the park. Every time I come to Six Flags Magic Mountain is my home park. It's down the street, but... Every time I come, even for like a ride update, I try to squeeze in a ride or two because I figured, why not? I'm here and I love riding rides and roller coasters, so. But again, right now, I'm heading towards the back right of the park to see if uh, Wonder Woman's go going. And I really wanna get on Superman, but haven't seen or heard it go. And it's a very, very, very loud roller coaster. It's right there. We got Good old Goliath going, which I think the entry plaza is better than the coaster. All right, we're coming up on DC Universe where Batman and Wonder Woman are. Let's see if they have Wonder Woman going. I don't see a train on the lift, which that's where it was last time I was here. But I also don't see any trains going around the track. And there she goes. There she goes, it's open, let's go. All right, I'm getting in line for Wonder Woman. No Makes way. me happy. Nikki came on Saturday, or no, Friday, sorry. They, I said they came on Saturday. They came on Friday, because I was working. But she came with a group of friends. One of her friends really wanted to get on Wonder Woman. Never went on it, and it didn't open all day. They were here, unfortunately. Let's go. And they just announced it's broken down. After 10 minutes of being down, it's back operational. Let's go.
And now we're exiting through the gift shop. Get your superhero merch. All right, so the second I got in line for Wonder Woman, it broke down. I decided to wait. Fortunately, it was only down for 10 minutes and I got on pretty much right away. I had the back row. Unfortunately, there's a, a little rattle in the back row. It wasn't uncomfortable or anything, but it's not as silky smooth as it was when it first opened. And it's still pretty early in the day. It's 11.20, so I think it's still warming up, but that's not to stay. It still has plenty of air time and injector and throws you around like a rag doll. But yeah, just a little rattle, so we'll see. Uh, I mean, some of these single rail coasters have had a lot of... Uh, work and refurbishment work done on them so it'll be interesting to see how quick they're gonna start putting some refurbishments on wonder woman i still haven't seen superman go yet but drop of doom is open i am debating let's just take a gander of the line shall we isn't bad at all. Let's go and drop a doom. Okay. Enjoy your 400 foot drop. Just had a station wait for drop of doom i absolutely love that drop tower it's your weight like your stomach is just going to your brain the entire drop it's such a long drop of weightlessness it's so good so i want super brand to open but i see a worker walking underneath the track i don't know if that's a promising sight Unless they're working on getting it open today, I'm not sure. So Drop of Doom never gets old for me. It, it's such an adrenaline rush, just sitting at the top, get great views of the park, and then you just drop. And it's not just a short drop, it's a long sustained drop of weightlessness that you're just floating out of your seat with your stomach just going into your head. Like, it's so good. And again, I saw a worker on Superman, so. I'm not so sure if it's going to open at least this morning while I'm here still at the park. But Crazanity's open. So the last couple times I've been here, it was closed. And, but it was, it was open when Nikki was here on Friday. So yeah, I love Crazanity. A great addition to the park because they needed like a thrilling flat ride. Other than Drop of Doom. Yeah, so I know last time I was talking about them leaving the Saw X maze up and people commented it's for Scream Break, which is like a special event they got going on at the park for Spring Break. And I'm just curious if they're going to leave it up for Fry Fest or not, or if they're just holding off. Because I mean, they have to pay for the IP rights for it, so it'll be interesting to see. And then we also have... Uh, the unnecessary zen garden right here that just for me doesn't fit in they did add some umbrellas which i don't know it just i, I don't know that one that kind of bothers me it just i don't know i don't know 
And I got my fix of Riddler's Revenge last week, so yeah, I'm good on Riddler's for a little bit. Now we're over by Gold Rusher, which I did ride last week. Classic here at the park. Uh-oh, watch out for the goose. That'll get you. So I think I'm gonna go over to the underground for now. But as far as I know, all their coasters are open except for Superman right now, which is great to see. We made it our way back to the back of the park here at the underground. They finally just updated the app for wait times. And it's 11.45, the park opened at 10.30. It says Apocalypse, a five minute wait. I don't know if I believe that. A lot of times it's on one train and you can't see the queue line from the outside to see how, like gauge how long the wait is. But I might hop in line because the app does say Superman's temporarily closed and I don't know if that's gonna reopen or not, or open today or not. At least while I'm here. West Coast Racers, I'm okay. Fix those comfort collars, Magic Mountain, fix them. And here we go, let's try out Apocalypse. Alright, we made it past the where they stop you for the fast pass. Let's see how long the station or queue line inside is. It's been eight minutes so far. It looks like there's one train, we'll see. So yeah, one train off on Apocalypse, 20 minute wait, not horrible. Uh, I got the back row, and I'm pretty sure they did some retracking on that roller coaster, but honestly, it doesn't feel like it. It's always been rough, and, and I love that on, you know, wooden roller coasters, but I don't know, it feels like there's a little more jackhammering. Maybe it's just because I sat in the back row, I'm not sure, but it's, it's not unbearable. But those restraints though, I mean, that staples you bad. And it like digs into your ribs. So it's not like on your thighs, it's up here on your body. But, oh well. Made it over by Tatsu. Definitely a pretty long line for Tatsu. Which it usually has a decent weight. It's a beast, that's for sure. Yeah, Revolution has a long line. Here's another like DJ stage from that event. And now I'm making my way over to the front of the park right down here. And I'm gonna go check out the site of new thrills coming. Churros, 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 churros. So we'll start off over here on the hillside by full throttle. You can see a bunch of markings. And so now I've made full loop around the park because we're back here at where Log Jammer used to be. And then we round the corner right here and you can see the construction wall up. And they got some new signs up, which is very exciting. And remember, we were just over here looking at this hillside with markers. So it has to come through all the way over here. And then you can see markers up there as well. It's 
spray paint. And then we got the new signs. Pardon our mess. We are building for your future enjoyment. And then we got the hard hat area. Hat hats. Hard hats <laughs> are required in this area. Power up with a season pass. Ride over to pass holder services to upgrade for as low as $9.99. And then we'll talk about these signs in a second. I just wanted to show you them first. Epic Thrills are cycling in. And then they got the go all out with events all season. 2024 events. And you can see more markers over here. We'll walk down there a little more too. But yeah, it's a big area. So you got this power up with a season pass sign. And that could be a clue. Power up could be a powered coaster. Maybe a, a launched coaster. I'm not sure if this one, if we can decipher anything from the riding. Go all out with events all season. And some people are saying that this could be this color scheme of a roller coaster. With the blue and the oranges. Could be a track piece, we don't know. But this middle sign, Epic Thrills are cycling in. And I know a lot of people are, are, are thinking about this one. Cycling in. Cycling in. So this could mean a Mega Zamperla Magic Bikes flat ride. Hmm? But what a lot of people are kind of zeroing in on, and, and myself included, is cycling in. It could be maybe like a, a motorbike coaster like Zamperla or even another manufacturer and I, 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 I've, I've said it a couple times I thought that a good roller coaster for this spot specifically would be a nice launch family coaster kind of like Big Bear Mountain at Dollywood just all over on the terrain on the hillside and through the trees I think that would be epic and of course it's right across from Looney Tunes land so a family coaster would actually fit really well in this spot and yeah six flags teased a couple times over on twitter or x about you know a giga coaster when they announced the the tear down or demolishing of the golden bear theater i didn't think that a giga would be placed here just because like i mean gigas are massive and the layout just it, it wouldn't make sense here to me and i mean if it was up to me i would want like an intimate blitz coaster all along this hillside kind of like maverick like that would be epic but i do think a family launch coaster would actually fit well in this place in this spot and i mean a, a motor a moto coaster is typically a launch coaster and a family coaster so like that wouldn't be i think the worst thing in the world but, you know they they have a, a couple family coasters here like ninja and gold rusher and then obviously in looney tunes lane they got some kid roller coasters so i mean that actually wouldn't be a bad addition to the park and then you also have this mascot this like steampunk steampunk bird and i mean i don't know if that's like a hint or clue if that's just gonna be like the theming to it, it's, if it's gonna be like the icon for the roller coaster or ride. But again, I mean, I think it has to be a roller coaster. I mean, you got markers that go all along here. And I'm gonna walk over there to see if there's any more that way. So, I, but again, it could be a super duper mega magic bikes flat ride, I don't know. But yeah, walking along the construction wall, you can see all these markers. Now, are these like footer markers? I don't know. Uh, I, I, there's a lot of them and it goes all over like the hillside. So all the way back there. Like if this has to do with the ride specifically and the placement, I think it's gonna be a pretty long layout of a roller coaster, which is nice to see. Yeah, it goes all the way back there. And I just noticed on Whistle Stop Park, they got something up for uh, the Scream Break event, Bloodborne Hollow. <laughs> Just, I don't know, kind of doesn't fit in right now. Yeah, they got some random pumpkins and decorations set up for Scream Break. 
So over by Pistachio Park, it's kind of hard to see, but there's some markers back there. And they also got some orange, orange tags on these right here. Not sure if that has anything to do with the project or not, but yeah, it looks like a pretty big blueprint for whatever it is. So there you have it, quick day at Magic Mountain. Got on more rides than I thought I would and also got to check out the new updates on whatever new ride they're gonna be working on. It'll be exciting to follow, especially since Six Flags Magic Mountain is my home park. Maybe a Giga, maybe a Magic Bikes Flat Ride. Who knows? Time will tell. But thanks for watching. Please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for upcoming videos. And remember, never stop exploring theme parks.